Hello there. Welcome to Chandu.org. Do you ever want to have an image lookup just like we look up but you want to look up someone's name or some product name and then get the corresponding image or picture returned? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how we could do such a dynamic picture or image lookup. If you have any doubts, feel free to download the sample file that is linked in the video description below and give it a go. But this technique can be very powerful and very useful, especially in creating some interactive reports or useful um, you know, trackers and things like that for your teams or colleagues. So let's get into it. So here is our dynamic image in a cell demonstration. Uh, let's just test this out first. Uh, we could already type it in for Bob, but I'm going to try Adam and it will show the picture of Adam along with their details and the team details as well. Uh, let me try Jackie. So we can see Jackie and uh, her teammates. Um, let's see Gayatri um, and then uh, we can see Gayatri's image as well as uh, their colleagues and some other information. Now how do we create something like this in Excel? Well, um, the, the key is obviously you need to have some data and um, what we need is information with the picture of whatever you want to retrieve with it could be staff members it could be product images it could be machine parts whatever it is uh, one per cell so here I have my staff data uh, somewhat weirdly structured because the images are quite big so the cell heights and um, widths are slightly wider and we have one person per uh, picture uh, per cell here and their data there and you want to make sure that the grid lines are turned off for this method so you just want to have like a blank canvas where this data is entered and the image needs to kind of snugly fit inside the cell so it doesn't need to go all the way to the edges of the cell you want to have it um, kind of not touching the edges of the cell that will be very very good so we have uh, 12 employees data and now what we are trying to do here is as soon as you type a name here and press enter it will try to look for matching names uh, whether a name called Jack or anybody with uh, the letters J C in their name and it will find the corresponding person it will show all the other details and this is not a mystery for you you can use uh, either VLOOKUP index match or XLOOKUP in my case I have used XLOOKUP formula uh, to print their names uh, name and other employment details like their IDs ages and salary and whatnot but the picture is the tricky one so once all of this is done uh, and we have set up the necessary uh, framework to get the remaining things let's uh, work on the image now if you are wondering how do you even get the name of the person or the salary of the person based on the wording that is typed here do check out my xlookup video or try the download file and just examine the formula it's not very hard and you may be able to figure it out okay so once all of this is done then we need to start off by going to one of the cells it doesn't matter which one it is we'll just select this uh, cell here of dame and copy that so select it copy the cell so you're not copying the image per se you're copying the cell which has that image so we copy that cell we come to the output worksheet where we want to show the images now right now we have typed in jack so the image that uh, we want to show is of jackie but we'll just start off by copying anything and then we come here right click paste special and then you want to paste a linked picture this feature is uh, also known as camera tool uh, in earlier versions of excel but um, since almost excel 2007 this has been called a linked picture so we will use a linked picture now this will get you a picture of the cell that is there so it's not really dame's picture per se it's the picture of the cell so it is that entire box so whatever is in that box will show up here so right now it is dame there but if you were to go into the cell and uh, for example fill up some color in that cell this box will also have that color right so this is how 
uh, that is likewise if you were to go to that cell and if you want to apply some borders around it now right now it has a black boundary around it this picture will also have the boundary uh, needless to say if you if you type anything in the cell or if you change the way this image is by rotating or whatever all of that will happen as well okay so now this is a picture that is linked to that cell but if you select the picture you can see that in the formula bar it is saying data c6 now all i have to do is figure out a way to change this based on which person we want to see for example jackie happens to be um where is jackie this one so it's a c12 so if i can change my reference here from c6 to c12 i'll get the picture of jackie and then i can go and type uh, some other name and then uh, change this reference that will work so how do i of course that's not the name but uh, you you get the idea right so how do we make this dynamic that's the next bit so to make it dynamic what you want to do is instead of having a reference you want to make this another xlookup formula so we could theoretically right xlookup that name in the lookup array lookup array would be my names column okay and then the result array would be my images column so we will go from uh, c4 c3 to c14 so we look up the name in the names column and then get the images column and uh, because we are doing a wildcard match we want to do that and um, and then like this it doesn't really work exactly as such uh, because we are not really looking up for ida we want to look up for a pattern that has ida so i'll point to the cell here h5 and then even then it wouldn't work this is because while the formula is correct the picture link doesn't like having a formula it always wants to have a fixed cell reference so you can't really type a formula here so we will type the formula we will then copy that formula into our mind so that and then press escape so that the picture link kind of returns to what it was and then we go to the formulas ribbon define a name and then we want to define a name so this will be um, employee to show and then here we paste that formula okay this um, this particular the name box is somewhat tricky to work with it doesn't really uh show multiple lines or anything like that so you might find uh, it a bit tricky to work with but nevertheless you want to type your x lookup formula here now if you don't have x lookup let's say you're running excel 2013 or 16 but you do not have x lookup you can still use other types of lookup formulas you want to use index match not v lookup per se but index match uh, because both index match and x lookup return a reference to the cell rather than the value itself so that's what we are really want we want a reference to that c11 because we are searching for ida and then we type this and then we click ok so we now have if i go to my name manager i can see that employee to show is a name that i have created and then now i select this picture link here where it says data c11 we just say employee to show and this will work uh, so here it is employee to show but the employee to show itself through the name manager refers to that excel cup formula so now i can go and change this and i'll get a picture of jackie or adam or bob whatever we want now this picture looks like this whereas here the picture looks a bit more fancy because this is a picture even though it is linked to a cell it is still a technically a picture you can use the picture format options to kind of add some special effects to it for example you can add a border around the picture that will add a blue color border you can change the color to that you can add some shadow around it you can even apply corrections on it which is crazy if you think uh, and uh, you know do something like this you can also crop it so for example you can crop it to an oval shape and uh, you can set the aspect ratio one to one and then you'll get a nice little circular um, kind of a thing with the employee or product inside that so that's what i've done here i have applied a special type of a cropping effect 
uh, to show that rounded edges and uh, shadow effect there and uh, so this is how that particular bit is done what about this one which one it shows all the team members based on whose name you type so for example if i go jackie i'll see jackie and then both of the team members within the shared services department likewise if i go uh, b i'll see bob and all the three people in the project office department so how does this work well this is again just an extension of the picture link technique what i did here is uh, because the data is already sorted by the department I found out the first cell that contained the person in that department and the last cell that contained the person in the department and then I made a picture link of the cells within that department like that and uh, so when you when you are in the project office it will show these three cells as one picture whereas if you go into shared services it will show these two cells as one picture so that's how that that is done and i've kind of sized it down and printed their names here and uh, uh, applied a picture format color of black and white so that uh, their names and their faces are shown in a duller shade than the main person itself so this is how you can get dynamic images in a cell i hope you enjoyed this video and you found this particular technique very useful i use this technique all the time especially when i'm creating some interesting dashboards or creative visualizations because picture links can help you overcome one of the limitations of excel which is to be able to show pictures but also make them dynamic thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed this please share it and uh, give it a like or leave a comment on the video thank you bye, -bye.